your biggest area of growth was maybe this first half? Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit of everything, you know. Um, it's a lot of things that I feel like I improved on, you know, and um, that was one of them, but uh, it's a lot of things I feel like I improved on on the winning streak, so. When you look at it, overall stuff, I know that numbers talk to people outside of the organization, but what Spo said is they look at things differently. They look at winning plays. And obviously during the winning streak, there were a lot of winning plays. Yeah. Have you sort of picked up on that also that, hey, it might not be a number, but there is X, Y, and Z I can also do to make winning plays? Um, yeah, you know, uh, getting loose balls, getting loose rebounds, I'm winning plays. Um, you know, hustle points, those one in plays, um, get a uh, tough block, that's one in play, but it's a, it's a couple things, it's a lot of things that's one in plays, you know, and um, that I just came through and um, that I did and um, got nothing. I guess the perfect example of that is block shots. You probably could have more block shots if you just went for the block shots, but it seems you're buying a lot more into the positional, the helping, the pick and roll, maybe taking yourself out of position for block shots on purpose. How different has that been for you to, to change your approach and not hunt every block shot? Oh, uh, it's just different personnel. You know, these guys are more, um, they're a lot younger, they jump, they jump, they try to block the shot a lot more, you know, so. So a lot of the blocks, I will have to go jump over their back, and um, if I if I don't get it, I give up an offensive rebound. So it's just a different personality, you know. I, I think JJ and Tyler, and also Jay Rich, are some of the guys that love to come to come and block the the teammate shot. I mean, um, their opponent shot. So.